We have a serious storm developing. Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us. Well, we've gone past the spring equinox. That was at 1.30 this morning. And so now basically we're on the lean towards summer. The days are going to get longer and the nights shorter. But in saying that, we've got a wintry blast coming up with a weather bomb. Bombogenesis, it's when a low drops one hectopascal an hour for 24 hours, and in this case, it might be actually over 30 hectopascals in 24 hours. Now, before you get too alarmed, it's not coming directly over the top of New Zealand, it's going to be in the Southern Ocean, but it's a very close call, and it's likely to bring in some severe weather to New Zealand. So let's try and break it down for you. Well, starting off with the Wednesday animated wind map, and it's mild at the moment with the Nor'westers coming through, cloudy areas along the western side, and gusty, maybe gale force even, around Cook Strait, and Canterbury, some parts of uh, Canterbury today, 8 degrees warmer than average. Let's take a look at Thursday now. Not a great deal of change. We've still got those nor'westers blowing through the North Island. There'll be some rain on the west coast over around Taranaki and um, National Park. A little bit might spill over into Hawke's Bay, but it won't be much, but a little bit might just come over the ranges. And further to the north, again, just a little bit coming in around uh, Northland and Coromandel Peninsula, Bay of Plenty. You're a little bit patchy, as is Auckland, as the system moves northwards across uh, Thursday. By Friday, not a great deal of change either. Still got the westerlies, still got the western showers, and the eastern areas are mostly dry. So not a great deal of change around Thursday and Friday. But as we go into the weekend, we've got this new system developing. So Saturday sees mild nor'westers right across the country, especially in the upper North Island where they'll be a little bit more subtropical. Further down the country, the usual sort of nor'westers coming out of the Tasman Sea. But that low in the Tasman is what the one that we're watching very closely. It doesn't say it, but the actual air pressure in the middle here is about 985 hectopascals, 985. Down here it says 982. So roughly these two lows are about the same. And so this is the one that's deepening rapidly. So let's go from lunchtime Saturday to lunchtime Sunday. And that's now 952. That's a 33 hectopascal drop in 24 hours. So that's significant. And it then, even though it's moving away from New Zealand, it's like one step forwards, one step backwards because it tries to move away, but at the same time it grows and expands and pushes back. So we're likely to get some severe weather around New Zealand on Sunday in the form of severe gales and potentially uh, heavy rain warning on the west coast, potentially. Uh, and also on top of that, the wind chill effect for newborn lambs. The temperatures are about to really drop going into Sunday and Monday, and so you'll start to feel that on Sunday. So 952 is that system there. By the way, the very north of the country, a burst of early rain, then it's just the usual spring westerlies blowing through, but they might get to gale force even in the very north of the country. Severe gales are more likely further down the country. So 952 on Sunday, this is how it looks at midnight on Sunday night a very deep low south of New Zealand. This shows air pressure, where high pressure's in white and low pressure, normally in the sort of more purpley colors, but showing up here in this sort of red-pink color that's developing in the middle as the air pressure gets right down. So I said before it was 9.50s for Sunday. This is lunchtime Monday, 9.37. That's the same as Hurricane Laura that just hit the United, uh, the United States last month. So very low air pressure. It's a long way from New Zealand though. It is moving away from us, but at the same time, it's pushing back and expanding. So for a brief time on Monday, well maybe not a brief time actually, for, for most of Monday, it'll be very windy. Severe gales are possible, and the wind chill effect could be quite serious for newborn livestock uh, as these winds come up from you know, that's Antarctica down here. So this is getting pretty close and very cold. So there could be some low level snow flurries. Please go to ruralweather.co.nz. You can track your barometric pressure hourly for the next 10 days. So you can see how low the air pressure will go where you live, also the winds and what wind direction, and of course the temperatures, including hourly. And it will show a snow icon if we think snow is in there. So take a look. It's a, a forecast for your farm or your suburb. So we've got you all covered at ruralweather.co.nz. So Sunday and Monday have the severe weather risks. By the time we get to Tuesday, the low is now starting to weaken. It's moving further away from us. Now the Chatham Islands are getting a good blast of wind and wintry temperatures. This is coming right up from Antarctica, so it will be cold. Single digit daytime highs. But in the rest of the country, 
that high is getting closer and the airflow coming out from the desert, out from Adelaide, out from uh, further north around uh, Queensland, coming down and around and back up. So you will start to feel those, those temperatures lifting up slowly by the time we get to Tuesday. But yeah, this is quite a serious system. But like I say, it is south of us. So hopefully that will reduce the severe weather risks for New Zealand, but we're going to keep you up to date. The computer modeling at the moment seems pretty uh, sure of this, um, not just the American models, but the European models and other various ones. So we will keep a close eye on it. Anything can change in spring. So we're not locking it in just yet, but we're certainly saying this is definitely one to watch. I'll be back again tomorrow with the latest.